Yeah! Hello, ladies, chins, and stinking bags of filthy rot. We return to the shadow of the earth tree. I am ready to wreck this lava intake that has already been broken of some sort. The, the collection of words that this place is called. I have upgraded the axes to where they are usable. Then max them out though because I only have one lightning stone left. You know, one somber stone left. So don't want to use it on a random weapon I find. I want to use it on something that excites me. And also memorize this spell to check it out and see how it works. Do you get zapped? Buddy, do you get zapped just by standing near me? Really, that's that's the extent of your <laughs> the amount of damage you take from the lightning. Uh, I think that it just charges your attacks. I assume this fella seems to be ready to what? <laughs> Barely scratched him. All right. How about you take one of these? All right. He probably, you know, you gotta stagger him. Whoa! <laughs> you gotta stagger him. Or maybe break him like the crystalline people. There you go. Now the critical attack does a ton of damage. There's no critical attack. My bad. I apologize. <laughs> I'm operating with faulty information. I think I just got my, my attack staggered out of my anus. Uh, uh, maybe. It is time to uh, swap weapons to a strike to a strike weapon. I was equipped with a freaking hammer as I came in here. I just wanted to change. Oh, I see this freaking weak point. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> you just got you do have to stagger him, and then you go behind him and you just stab him in the butt. <laughs> That's how you do. That's how you do. But definitely a stagger weapon will be more effective against these guys. Not a stagger weapon, a strike weapon. Indeed, it is a pay place for the stones that are completely worthless to me. Gas stone. I was like, that looks pickable. I need, I need to know what this gas stone is, though. I've been gathering all kinds of stuff. I would like to have the description of the axe. I've never checked it out. Golden War Axes of the Death Knight, a pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands, crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver, Surrogate. He was once the protector of Fia, but not anymore. He got cast out for some reason, just before uh, a shadow tree motif gold has been used for it. It's engraving a small constellation of those blah 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 blah. Gas stone. A block of stone infused with hot gas. Material used for this is the fart stone that everybody has been talking about in the fabled legends. Another medallion that gives you more health. Alright, good stuff. I mean a plus three sounds pretty reasonable. I am equipped for the massive lightning attack. How much health are we talking about here? You know, two hundred 203 is very respectable. That is almost exactly 10%, right? Yeah, almost exactly 10%. Uh, super respectable pile of health. Don't, uh, don't diss it. Pretty good. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to electrocharge. Pretty expensive incantation, though. It's almost on par with Golden Vow, the amount of fu that it takes. I mean, not so much, but a lot. All right, we're going to go forward these axes. The dual axe moveset is pretty ass, so I am not super into it. That being said, let's just, you know, use them for a little while. If we come across too many of those weird stone golems, uh, we're going to switch back to the mace dual wielder that I had uh, going on. Probably a, a disgusting goopy fire blob is going to come over my head. Was it always oh, edge? Alright, alright. We'll, we'll have to go down, I suppose, and encounter more horrendous monstrosities. Been pretty uh, good so far. Nothing terribly dangerous. One thing about this spell, 
not epileptic friendly. A little, f a lot of flashing on the screen. I don't know if I'm into it, just because of it. It's a little too much. The amount of uh, effects is a little too much. Or these golems. Or right, how about we defer? Oh, are you an enemy? No, you're just a weird fiery blob. How about we defer the use? Ooh, check out this cookbook. I don't know what hefty volcano pot. Not something I'm excited about either. We defer the use of this Death Knight Twin Axes for later. Let's put on some strike weapons. And we'll do some sweet jump attacks. Uh, get rid of that. We're gonna put on the claw. And now we are have way too much armor on. Let's go with that. Full set of the... The Crucible Knight. And we're gonna have this. Let's see the difference. Not even Golden Vow. I'm not going to give myself anything other than the Electro Charge, because that's what I had. Let's see how this compares between a Strike set of weapons and the Axes. It's not a lot. <laughs> not a lot, but he probably staggers faster. We might... Yeah, there's the stagger right there. Only three jump attacks, huh? And then the critical hit. It still, it doesn't do a whole lot. You know, the difference is, uh, I wouldn't call it negligible. But it doesn't make or break the encounter. That being said, these guys, you know, pretty, pretty uh, easy to deal with. They are very dodgeable. You know what, this area is uh, a lot of stones that I have no use for. It's, it's kind of silly, right? Because when you come in here, something that I've already, a point that I've already made, but why not say it again? When you come, you come in here, you're pretty much an endgame character. Unless you sped run the, the quest to go to the Molester. Moog, the Dynasty of Blood fella. Unless you sped run to get there, you're going to get to the DLC fairly close to endgame. At that point, you have most, if not all, the bell bearings. So it's like, why, why are you feeding me all these damn stones? I have the ability to get infinite stones, buddy. Now, Don't let me. Bitch, I'm going too hard, though. Please, please, get staggered. I am annoyed by this encounter. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess, I guess I'll just uh, get some distance and visit you. To the incredible Lord, word of the Lord. I'm just gonna attack you until you're dead, not even bothering with the critical hit. Hopefully at the end of this there will be a somber ancient dragon stone. Because those are in very short supply. I thought he was a monster at first, but no. Aha! What kind of damage do we do to the blobs? We just murder them outright, alright. Why are you fighting? Why are you attacking, you weirdo? Are you blind? Are you a dumbass? Alright, I really don't care. No, I didn't want to Electro Charge. Electro Charge seems to be pretty garbage. Or am I... Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe you use Electro Charge and then you use it again? No? No. <laughs> I am uh, really stupid. I, I do feel like I'm using it wrong. I'm just not understanding how it works. Hey buddy, let me just uh, jump attack the crap out of you. Uh, I have no access to your butthole though. <laughs> yeah, I'm setting. Alright, you can take one of those. And here it comes. Massive super stump. Not very useful. Because you are one hardy son of a bitch. Mostly these guys are just a chore, aren't they? Because it takes... You have to go through all the damn animations. Let me get that blessing spoon. Overall, not impressed with the electric charge. It feels like I am using it wrong. There's like a component to it that I don't understand. Smith Script Dagger. Check it out. Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence and Faith. What a strange pile of stats that it's... That it, uh, 
scales with dagger engraved with a smith script. Reduced mass enhances the effect of the smithing arts, allowing this weapon to function as a throwing dagger for all attacks. Once thrown, the dagger instantly reappears in the wielder's hand. That's uh, funky. What the hell is this? Oh, another thing that I noticed. This wasn't like a talisman or anything. This is actually a weapon. Check out the moveset. It's pure dex weapon. For some reason, even though it's full fire attacks. <laughs> it skills it only with dexterity. This is badass as hell. Not for butthole. You cannot make it anything other than dex. I'm hoping to find something similar that is for, for our stats because it's badass. I don't want to respec. I want to go as a strength faith kind of character through the DLC. So we're just going to stick with whatever matches my stats. Where's that dagger though? I want to see what it how, what it looks like. It just throws daggers. It throws daggers but infinite. I wonder what kind of damage you can get out of this. Alright, dual wield. Oh yeah, you do wield it. There's a ton of dual wield weapons in this game, in this uh, DLC. Uh, I don't know, it seems kind of OP to have a ranged weapon like this, but you know, maybe there's not that difference to a bow. Some uh, extra ranged attack weapons. Anything, what does it require? 11 intelligence? I'm not smart enough to wield this thing. <coughs> <coughs> And its main scaling is strength. So once again, we are not finding the weapons that we want. That said, I did get told in the comments. Oh, don't worry, it's coming. The DLC is full of incantations, faith weapons, strength weapons. It's a ton of them. So, you know, do not despair. Even though you're finding all these things you can't use, there's going to be a lot of stuff for you. There's good eating. Running required head and then let there be precious item. Well, please just don't sink. Okay, you don't sink. All right. But that's a lot of damage on lava. Damn. Anyway, what we're going to do, of course, we're going to use some flame protect me, baby. But there is also, well, they do stack, right? The fire livers. Let me use Flame Protect Me first. Yeah, Flame Protect Me. I think they stack. Oh, and off we go. Ooh, that's a lot. That's quite a lot, but not as often as other lava will attack you, will uh, hurt you. Did I just get baited? I just got baited. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I got baited into thinking this precious item. There's no precious item. It's nothing but death. What a massive pile of garbage you are. I hate you. <laughs> Scum lords. Oh, totally bamboozled by this garbage person. Mm, I disparage your message. I disparage you. No item ahead, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I just got totally trolled. But I would have, like, if, if those messages hadn't been there, I would have done that anyway, because, you know, it just looks like you're gonna get something at the end of that. Unfortunately, I'm completely out of juice. Uh, where, where do I go now? I don't think I've seen any other path. I think, in fact, I'm going to go back to the side of Grayson. We're going to reload our juice because it's just too much. All right, I'm back here, completely ignored every monster, and I noticed the path forward that, or at least the path that I did not notice earlier. So let's go up this area right here, find out what we can find out. Let me, uh, in fact, we can probably go with flame protect me constantly, since it's a fire-based area, but seems like overkill. I'm not making any apologies. Give me that good stuff. Maybe it's stone seven. How exciting. You can get on top of that, but what is the worth of it? I don't think there's anything worth. That is worth a damn thing. You're a piece of garbage. Literal trash. Put it in a bag, throw it in the dumpster. 
like I did with all my cats. All right, well, you have been throwing spears at me, you piece of scum. Truly, a pile of trash you are. Nothing else to be done here other than to go down that other little path. I mean, they're not even worth ignoring, these creatures are. They're so easy to kill. A push! Get wrecked. Even more smithing stones. Why do they are just free? Fast and furious. They're shoving them down my throat. Even more stones to be grabbed. A glass shard. How wonderful. I see. I see. This probably raises the floor or lowers the bridge. Aha, lowers the giant super pipe. Now we're going to go up that enormous conduit. And up we go. Zua! Oh, that was a mistake! <laughs> Didn't realize. <laughs> Didn't realize it wasn't as straightforward as I, I first thought. But you just jump on it. Uh, do you have any idea how much my shoes are melting out of this? This is terrible. That felt like the descent of a mimic tier, but I don't think it is. Let me just obliterate you real quick. No path down there, but it seems like if you go all the way to the top, there's going to be something else. Uh, ah. Path. Be wary of message, or don't think. Clearly more, there's more stuff down there, but I want to see what's up here. It looks like a forge to me. Examine altar. Yes, yes, stick your hand in it. Anvil hammer and an ancient dragon smithing stone. That's awesome. Return to entrance, really? No boss, nothing, just a hammer? Inventory. I don't think that's a weapon. Is it a weapon? It is a weapon. More weird intelligence, dexterity, uh, scaling. What, what is this scaling? I mean, it is strength and faith. Mainly. I and mean, he does some fire damage. We're definitely going to try this one out. And it's a strike axe. Oh, a colossal. One of the treasures of the ruined forges. A tremendous hammer that incorporates as, as its head the red-hot anvil of the forge. I'm sure this only weighs a couple pounds. It is said that the anvil shape is inspired by that of an altar, and that long ago it was indeed used as such in rite and ritual. Smithing art spears slam the red-hot anvil into the ground, sending up cunly spears as it, it is pulled out. The spears disappear instantly. Absolutely. Trying this one out may even put a somber ancient smithing stone, if I like the moveset, a colossal hammer. It's always a fun time. Oh, this is the beginning. I was so excited <laughs> to see this other path. All right, well, uh, that was way shorter than I anticipated for sure. I thought it would be one of the long, long, long dungeons. Not at all. You just go in a bit of a loop, get yourself a nice piece of loot. Get an ancient smithing stone for it. Awesome. Now let's put some... Stones into this hammer. Oh, it requires 11 intelligence. Come on. I may be really close to that. I could use either... Either the Gotrek rune or spend a level on that. I think I'm at 10 because I started as a wretch. Yeah, 10 intelligence. Fine. Fine. I'll spend one level to wield this freaking hammer properly. The things you have me do. Let's put this hammer to the test! Hurrah! Burst! <laughs> I mean, it's a colossal... It's a colossal hammer. What you, what you want from it. It's going to hammer people in the head real good. The damage is fat. That's some fat damage on this thing. Holy crap, it's not even maxed out. You know what? You know what? Let's put a level 10 on this thing. Ah, it is done. I would like you to point. I would like to point out for you the physical damage negation. That's an eighty percent. That's a pretty damn good shielding capability. So uh, let's see how this performs in the rest of this episode. Let's go. I've spent some resources, but I don't think I'm going to regret it. I don't think I'm gonna. Let me kill these people again, <laughs> just for the sake of it. 
course. <laughs> that is a fat pile of uh, area. The, 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 the effects. Doch. I like it. <laughs> I'm done with it. Since I have a, like a follow up, you don't need to use it twice. And of course, it does massive poise damage. This is probably a huge boss killer, as long as they're not immune to fire damage. This will stagger the crap out of the enemies in a short, short uh, notice. It's going to be amazing. Check out this idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Two hits gets a stagger, bitch. Get <laughs> destroyed by my handheld anvil. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, weapon fit for butthole. All right, let's continue down this path. We're going to go down to the swamp. Eat my big fat ass. Wonderful. Really liking it. Hopefully there won't be an uh, ulcerated uh, tree spirit down here. Usually they concentrate in filthy swamps of the of its ilk. So hopefully not. I don't want to ever see one of them again. I'm seeing flowers though, so there may be something different. But something's going to spawn out of these damn filthy waters. Don't you doubt it for a second. Maybe it will just be crabs. Had enough crabs at the brothel. I don't need to get any more crabs. These damn rats. You know something that has been missing from Elden Ring? A rat boss. It's like a uh, festive grease. That's a new one. It's like a rat boss. It's something that there should be exist with all the rats that you find. What the hell is this? Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of bone shards, craftable item, coats, armament, imparting a festive incantation, <laughs> spreading laughter and rainbows. A <laughs> grand wielder has scant few runes and landing attacks. The effect lasts only for a short time. That is so silly. <laughs> so silly, I can't use it on the hammer. But, uh, <laughs> I'm happy this exists. Here's Miyazaki indulging his, uh, his whimsical side. I endorse it. I like it. Oh, toxic muscling, huh? I, uh, I look forward to putting in a pile of dung and then crafting a beautiful throwable pot with which I can humiliate my opponents in PvP. Alright, well, I guess we'll continue grabbing them. Do you create any other status effect that is simply not poison or is it just regular old boring ass poison? That's so strange. Well, I guess you put eight of them in there. I was about to say, why make it a, something that I'm picking up when I am just gathering them from the floor? But there was eight picked up at once. Okay, it's connected. Is that people dying? Seems like such a pattern. Why are so many people dying here? What's your deal? What do you do? You're just jumping up there? And then you're jumping straight into the chasm. <laughs> really intelligent players. Hmm. Contemplating. Yep, yep. Let me just uh, go down there real quick. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what do you do, fella? Just really curious about this cliff. Are you people mad? There has to be something to hold on. I'll see. <laughs> what are you idiots doing? Oh, man, sometimes that's why the multiplayer capability of Elden Ring is the best thing. <laughs> just, just get a random laugh out of it. Really, you survive the super anvil attack? Truly for shame. All right, let's carry on. We've been goofing off for long enough. I wonder if this leads somewhere important. We have to say. Try target lock. Turn the boss of me. Is it more filthy militia people? I can't stand those scum lords. I cannot open up the map. Oh, I see. They are more. Like, is there no end to this plague? I don't want to deal with people ever again, brother. I mean, they're not that big a deal. They do quite a bit of damage. Cookies. 
Poison is not even worth cleansing, buddy. I don't even care. I don't even care. Die! Weird bunny creature. I guess I'll continue going down this path. There's not really anything to be found. Oh, there is... Oh, it kind of doubles back and he's going to the weird swamp over there. I was hoping that it would be a dead end, but, oh, just, just. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't seem to be. Flame cleansing. There you go. Doesn't seem to be a dead end at all. I guess so we'll continue. Going down and down and down this ravine. Maybe finding something really interesting at the bottom, or maybe a horrible monstrosity that we have to put out of its misery. Mutated, full of boils and postules. True filth. There's something I don't like in the Colossal Hammer moveset. The attack from crouching is pretty ass. Like, it comes out fairly fast, but it's such a short range, it's like a missed opportunity, I don't like it. What are you dying to? Oh, just trying and failing miserably to kill the the little fellas. You're going to start shooting rays of light at me. Yep, yep. <sighs> Filthy crab over there. Doesn't seem like there's anything uh, all that crazy. I mean... Destroy the scrab real good. Ow. Spam until you're dead. I don't know why they made this flower so insanely tanky. They're so worthless. They're one of the most worthless enemies in the entirety of the game. Alright, what can we find? In this weird place. How do you die? You died uh, doing strange super attacks. Maybe you got invaded or something. I don't know what the deal there is. It's certainly not fighting flowers. Deep purple lily. Deep purple water lily that is on the verge of wilting material used for crafting grows in the blue flower field of the coast. Lick like a syrupy poison. Its nectar lulls the vibrating to sweet velvety sleep. Seems to me like the, it's the like the new uh, St. Trina's flower. All right, let's continue on in our journey up this mysterious cave. I see a side of grace. I see some more ash. I see no event in my path whatsoever. <laughs> this is a strange little uh, peaceful nook of the world. Give me that. Give me that. Just take it straight from your loins. The ashes of the holy penis. All right, well, we got this far. That's nice. What? Where is this far? I see. We have gone all the way back down, and we are indeed at the bottom of the lake. Where, like, if we look up from here, we'll see the massive bridges, I bet. Let's see. I really do want to see this, the, the sheer scale of this place. Did night just fall right in front of my eyes? Incredible. All right. Well, I will explore until something interesting happens. Some clear pile of parkour ahead. Let's turn around and see what's on the other side. Ooh. I found a rock that is round. Round piece of rock shaped by the water's current. Can be used for crafting or simply for throwing at enemies. While on the ground, places like riverbed. How, how extremely, extremely fascinating. These are monsters. Ah, it's just... Freaking rats! Rat! Feels like we are approaching that rat boss that I've been talking about. Hey, I'm like, where's all the people dying to? Of course, it's the ulcerated tree spirit in the middle of the lake. <laughs> How the else could it be? <laughs> Why you do this? Why you do this, Miyazaki? Couldn't you put some other monster here? Even a dragon would have been great. But no, it has to be one of these. There isn't even anything weird about it. It's just a tree spirit. It's not even ulcerated. I mean, it has some ulcers. It doesn't even treat me to a health bar. 
truly disappointing encounter. Just don't die to it though. <laughs> Not dying to it will be amazing. Might as well grab this while I'm here. Ah, yes. Very interesting, very uh very powerful attack that you just did. I'm not even going to dignify you with a golden bow. I'll just eat some crab. <laughs> Very nice. Some funky nonsense going on there with the scenery. I'm trying to get a stagger on this scum lord. Oh! I don't think in my entire Elden Ring career. What is this? Oh, it's potion! <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, who's this? I don't know what's going on. I don't think in my entire Elden Ring career, I've been hit by the Fire Breath. Yeah, I think it has hit me with every single one of its attacks, except the Fire Breath. It just seems to be aimed so poorly every time. I'm never in the path of it. Are you dead? You're not dead. Alright, you die. That'll be great, so I can carry on my life. Truly a pathetic encounter, but hey, we get a Horned Bairn. Use Fopu to summon Vengeful Spirits around the caster. This is another one of those weird things that bursts into spirits. Tangle Horns are a symbol of spirituality, but most young burn born bearing the oversized horns meet a frightfully early demise. These fetishes are made to memorialize them. Use Oh, Yeah, it's one of the... One of the... Dung eater type of attacks, but this one hovers around you like they are carrying blades. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right, well, continue exploring the bottom of the lake. I think I'm gonna turn around and go and do the parkour. I turned around aiming for where I was at, but uh, I got myself uh, lost somehow, ended up with all these disgusting fly people again. <laughs> no, where the hell I went? Let me kill this guy so I can check the map. I kept going forward like an idiot. All right, all right. Let me go back to where I was. The, the marker right there. That's where I'm trying to get there. Actually, the grace is right there. I'll just use it. All right, horse. Don't fail me now. It's not really that much of a challenge, is it? It's really not bad. Ooh. Maybe it's a little harder than I thought. Probably just want to jump forward. Oh, 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 they need the double jump. All right, all right, good stuff. All right, I'm, I'm down with more recipes. Please give me more. Hefty rock pot, all right. Probably like a big physical damage kind of pot. I don't see any more loot, so we're just going to keep going forward. Oop, oop. Hopefully these birds won't be like supercharged versions. They still die like total bitches. But the aim is not to even attack them. Just completely bypass these creatures that we have already encountered before. Holy crap, they have fireballs. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I want to see what's down here. I don't want to get fireballed. I should have gone, continued on the path. Now I can't get back there. <laughs> Oops. It's all right. I forgive myself. This is a place that goes to all the fly people again. Ugh! The true final boss of the game right here. We're going to treat this as the ultimate threat. I will confront this monster. But not without massive protections. And I might even want to cheese it. Eat some frenzied burst, bitch. Oh. <laughs> That's a fat. That's a fat health pool, buddy. <laughs> that is a lot of health. Alright, bud. Hopefully we can stagger. Yeah, alright, alright. The stagger. Makes it. Ah, his helpful was not that impre impressive. I maybe overhyped it in my head <laughs> because of all the traumatic events. I have se severe PTSD from uh, those monsters. So I am sure a lot of people had that approach when they reached this spot. All right, 
well, let's continue going forward down this never-ending path. Eventually we'll get somewhere interesting, right? If nothing else, we have a beautiful vista and a sight of grace. I'm down with it. I wonder what this lost soul by the lake is thinking about. Oh, the fish is not biting my lure. I need to go back to the fishing shop. I was once told a coffin could convey its passenger upon a gentle cruise to the velvet garden of deepest purple. Oh, to slumber, slumber in such a paradise. Is that what I'm looking for? Another one of those coffin taxis? <laughs> the strangest mode of transportation. It just keeps going, huh? I thought this would be like a dead end. But no, it just keeps going and going and going and going. We're going to follow this path all the way to the bottom. Really cool water effects here. It's really badass. I <laughs> like the. I don't know if that's. Is that fishes? Or is that just leaves? Particle effects. <laughs> I think I saw like fishes dropping. And that's why all the birds are perched over there. They're just waiting for the fish to be able to catch them. All right, the bottom of the waterfall. At least this waterfall. Let's uh, go back into the water, see if there's something interesting here. Just a bunch of beautiful grazing animals, nothing but peace. Peace and quiet. Go into the waterfall, find absolutely nothing within. <laughs> Usually, it will be a nice Easter egg. You got nothing for me? Maybe the message will say, Fortitude, all right, yeah, well. Uh, now, nice, beautiful, and clean butthole, the most cleansed. The freshest butthole to ever approach the shadow of the earth tree. Well, carrying on through these absolutely gorgeous lands. This forest is just pretty as hail. Rah! Kill all the goats, though. I hate them. How far are we gotten? We're just at the bottom of the area, and there's just more land to explore. It just keeps going. The massive giantism of the goats. Hey, and we get another one of these. Unfortunately, I have a fire weapon. Which is probably not very good against it. Just hoping to find a side of grace before confronting this creature. I mean, we found it not too long ago. It was like, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fairly far by now. Let me kill this giant goat because I hate it. I don't think it should exist in a front of nature. Ugh. Just has some nice meat and hefty bones. Skinned instantly. Butthole the skinned outdoors lady. Surely there will be something interesting over here. Killing that giant fire golem. It's on the to-do list. Probably will end the episode with that battle. I'm hoping to find something other, like maybe maybe a shack, a shepherd's little uh, refuge, something, any kind of building. Instead of finding a pasture full of electro goats, pissing me off. I don't want to kill all these electro goats. I already murdered one. I've had my fill of goat murder. Yeah, it just uh, loops around. If nothing else, I would like to find the map. That would be great. Am I, like, outside the bounds? No. But, let's see. There's no map here. Usually it will show, right? The map is over there. But none of this area has a map. It, the map first needs to expand for us to, to go to the map. And there's just a giant path going all the way up there. All right, let's... Engage with this fire golem. It will be just as easy as the other one, right? Super easy. I'm even going to use this giant alm anvil hammer. Because even though probably the damage will not be very good. I don't want to engage with both the crab and the golem. Crab! I don't know what the hell this crab was attacking, but it certainly was not me. Maybe it's one of the rare blind crabs that have no idea where you're at. All right, buddy. Let's do the thing. Flame protect me. 
Probably flame protect me is not as good as regular physical damage negation. Either way, we're engaging. Oh my, he's pissed already. He's so pissed. What are you even doing? I don't know what that is. We're going straight under. <laughs> oh no! Oh, mistakes were made! <laughs> That attack is not is not the attack I expected. All right, this creature is uh, slightly more powerful than anticipated. If he starts lighting up with fire, maybe that's the moment where you run for the hills. <laughs> but let's try again. Okay, he's getting pissed again and he's setting itself on fire. It's time to run, please. I want to see what it what it does though. It just erupts in a massive firestorm. Oh, but it does aim its fire at you. Okay, that's interesting. It just keeps doing it, huh? Holy crap! Are you gonna just keep doing it? <laughs> Please stop! <laughs> ah! Yeah, if, if you keep doing it, there's no stopping you. I don't want to use range to combat. That's not the way I'm built. But I will resort to it. I will memorize some freaking stone spells and chuck rocks at you. If don't don't test me, buddy. Yeah, you're just scum, aren't you? <laughs> you're just a piece of garbage, and I hate you. Okay, I'm going to engage. This is a bad idea. <laughs> a bad idea. Oh! Come on, let me heal, please. <laughs> heal! Jump! Alright, that's better. That's better. We can now engage. Better terms. Excuse me? <laughs> you just grabbed me and threw me in your head, alright? Well, I accept that this is a destiny that can happen to you. <laughs> I've been thrown in the whirling tornado of its soul. Truly a deep, deep statement about the depth of its churning thoughts. We're going at it again. All right, bud. I put a flame drake talisman on my talisman pile. Maybe this time around you will not be thoroughly humiliating. I think we can tank one of the rain, the firestorms. Let me just go around them a little bit. Trying to do up some damage here. And when this town comes down, you gotta jump. When he tries to grab you, don't allow it. Do some good staggers, buddy. Please. Oh, that's new. No, I thought that it was the explosion. But that's like a big jump when he does the explosion. All right, that's a big. Uh, that's the mini stagger. It's not quite the. When he goes down. Ash of war. Oh, jump, 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 jump! <laughs> Did not have time to jump. But man, what a difference with the flame drake talisman. Ah, I jumped too early and I got caught under the leg. Uh, the fire damage though, it's negligible, honestly. But don't stop me though. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, you know, it's it's really helpful when you actually jump through the damage instead of... Oh, that is the explosion. You gotta run away from that one. Did not run fast enough. Oh, is this it? No, it's just the partial. Alright. Continue doing damage here. Not a ton of... Uh, not a ton of health. Taken away from it? Yeah, that was definitely the grab, wasn't it? Do not stand in front of him. Very bad idea. I don't know what this is. Oh, he was just smashing down. Alright. Seems like you just gotta avoid the big first attack. This is jump. Yeah, you're gonna get wrecked with that one. I think my 
far protection is out. Oh yeah. Hopefully we can get it done. Yeah. Give me my fire protection back. Do not grab me. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, with the fire protection, I'm not dying, baby. <laughs> Oh, he's kicking me! <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> right, this, is, this is stupid. Stop, please. Jump. I, I dodge, but I don't think you can even time. I don't think you can even time a, a regular dodge. Yet. Doesn't know the stagger is the real. Yeah, this is the real deal. Quick, go to the face. Uh, where's the face? There's no face? Please? No! No, this is not the time! <laughs> Stupid ass! Ring! This is garbage! No! <laughs> Look at all that pile of damage! <laughs> First thing that happens in the next episode, this dummy ass fire piece of trash it's getting rigged. Cerulean Coast. This is spoilers, buddy. This is spoilers. The host of fingers has died. <laughs> I'm going to deactivate. The ring is so dumb. It's the stupidest thing. And now you're back to full health. Isn't that just wonderful? That's just, that's just great. I'm so happy about that. Run, bottle. Just run. Fire is raining upon your head. Just run. So we are starting this fight all over again with like half the amount of heals. It's fine. I don't need to heal. And jump over. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Never stand in front of it. Damn it. Blood attack. Ooh. The horse ate it, though. <laughs> oh, damn it. I didn't realize that uh, that attack was coming. Okay, so we have three more charges. Are you doing the other hand? The other uh, leg? No. That's a stagger. We're going to continue jump attacking the crap out of the other one. That's the... Oh, no! <laughs> no, I don't want it! <laughs> It's so dumb when that happens. Really? A, a third jump, huh? I did dodge through it, but uh, it's too long of an attack. This was probably going to kill me in the end. Please. I'm just maybe, maybe, you know, keeping the entirety of the monster in view. That will help out quite a bit. Uh. Do the leg. Don't do a third one. Is it a third one? Please, dagger. That's the explosion. One butthole. Woohoo! Oh, I run. I ran. Uh, I mean, I jumped away from it. This is a bad idea. Don't stand in front of it. I'm out of heels. <laughs> Just run toward him. What's the worst that can happen? No! Run under, run under. You gotta avoid the grab attack. Avoid all attacks, really. Not the other leg. I'm in front of it! Oh, no. 